Welcome back to Good Morning Football. This tweet just went out. Okay, I never said I was not happy in Cleveland. Just like everyone else, I'm hopeful for better results, period. Next story, please. Mm-hmm. Adele. He's not saying he's happy to be in Cleveland, though. The crying emoji's like, y'all are just making up stories. He, listen, he said he just wants to win, and that's exactly I'm what I'm with Odell on this. The guy's been a model citizen all year, not right? drawing any negative attention to himself, and now he gets jumped on for one tweet. So true. Yeah. Guys, the Browns? What are we looking at here? What are we doing? <laughs> well, the Browns are currently the 10 seed in the AFC with a record of 5-7, and seven, yet despite... Four straight, lo- four straight road losses, okay. all kinds of distractions, T-shirts, and what have you. Mm-hmm. The Browns enter Week 14 with a chance at a playoff spot. So mm-hmm. how can the Browns make the playoffs? Producers, my music. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're so smart. First, the Browns need to win their final four games. Home against the Bengals in Week 14, then at the Cardinals in Week 15, then home against the Ravens, and then on the road against the Bengals. Second... The Titans have to lose three of their final four games. That's at the Raiders, home against the Texans, home against the Saints, Uh then at the Texans. Third, the Steelers would need to lose three of their final four games. At the Cardinals, home against the Bills, at the Jets, and at the Ravens. Okay, the Browns also would need the Colts to lose two of their final four games. That would be either this weekend at the Bucks. That's doable. Next weekend at the Saints. Home against Carolina, then on the road against Jaguars. All right, that's it, right? That's that's the recipe? No, no. There's no. more. What? <laughs> Cleveland also needs the Raiders to lose two of their final four home games. Home four games. Home against the Titans, then the Jaguars, followed by road games at the Chargers and at the Broncos. If all of that happens, okay. the Browns would be nine and seven. They would be the sixth seed. Okay. While the Steelers, the Titans, the Raiders, and the Colts would all be on the outside looking in. The Browns are alive. (laughs) Your thoughts? Alive is a relative term. It is, because a lot of teams have to perish. Uh, Titans, Steelers, Colts, and Raiders. You're rooting against all of them if you're a Browns fan. You're wearing all of those jerseys at once. Professor, you've done a lot of these. Yes. Would you say this is one of the more circuitous, difficult roads they've ever you ever studied? Uh, no, because we've got one that follows shortly <laughs> after. Is that true? Yeah, this is easy compared to what I got next. Really? Well, what do you got, Nate? Well, I'm just trying to keep up, man. So they have to lean on a lot of teams. So not lose all their games. That's a good thing, though. There's teams that actually have to lose a couple. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, yeah, that helps. Four. I like that. Yeah. I'm so, trying to pay attention. I'm keeping up. Uh, but you're saying that there is a, a chance. chance. Guys, there's another team out there. That, <laughs> okay. that's, that's more difficult than this? Oh, yeah. Okay. The Browns look Taking like, my notes here. I got Browns you. Browns look like world beaters this season compared to the other one. What do you got? Only two teams in the, NF, in the AFC have fewer wins than the Broncos. And yet, at 4-8, and eight, Denver has a mathematical right. chance at still making the playoffs. All right. Producers, <laughs> my music, please. Okay. Here's how the Broncos make the playoffs. First... Denver needs to win their final four games. At the Texans in week 14, at the Chiefs in week 15, home against the Lions and home against the Raiders. Win all those. Second, the Steelers have to lose all of their final four games. Mm -hmm. At the Cardinals, home against the Bills, at the Jets, then on the road against the Ravens. Next, the Titans need to lose all of their final four games. Could happen. At the Raiders, home against the Texans, home against the Saints, then again at the Texans. Fourth. The Raiders need to beat the Titans in week 14, then they need to lose their final three. Okay. Uh, Home against the Jaguars, at the Chargers, mm. and at the Broncos. They gotta beat the Titans first, though. They gotta beat the Titans. Got it, right. Fifth. Fifth. There's another one. Fifth. <laughs> the Colts need to lose three of their final four games at the Bucks, at the Saints, home against the Panthers, and at the Jaguars. Oh. Sixth. No, they're We're going to say six. Six. <laughs> the Jaguars need to lose one game. Oh. Either home against the Chargers in week 14 or at the Falcons in week 16. <laughs> this, this is happening. Uh, seventh. <laughs> the Browns need to lose at least one of their final four games. Either home against the Bengals, at the Cardinals, home against the Ravens, or at the Bengals. If all of that happens. Yes. The Denver Broncos and Drew Locke would be 8-8, eight and eight, while the Steelers, the Titans, the Raiders, the Colts, the Jaguars, and the Browns would all be on the outside looking in. Denver Broncos, let's go! <laughs> Your thoughts? Oh, my gosh. I have a headache. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Schrager. 
I'm trying to keep up here, man. This is stressing me out, man. Listen, the Browns, I, I got that. I mean, that's decent. You they know what I'm saying? Like a voodoo I was, doll. And then, <laughs> and then it's going to take some voodoo for the Broncos to get in. And then that, what, the Broncos, I just put the what the football, man. It's <laughs> stressed out, man. But here's the thing. This is what we got to do, right? All right, so this, this is what I put with the Broncos because I was trying to keep up, and there it is, WTF, what the football. But you're saying they have a chance. Did, you, did I catch the Jaguars oh, yeah. Falcons? In, uh, in week what, 16. What the hell is that? Did I catch a Niners? If you are a Denver Broncos fan. You have circled week 16 Jaguars Falcons, and you are like ready to run through a wall for that game. And okay. you need the Jags to win that game. I don't remember. Okay. How do the. Uh, <laughs> you don't even lose, remember. Lose. Yes, Jags, we need you to lose week 16. How do the Timberwolves and Royals fit into the whole thing? Yeah. Do they play a role? That's true. And there's a Shakira concert. Is and, there? And if that happens. All right, and Gryffindor needs to win by 50. Okay. This is, I think this what is if there's doable. a bomb cyclone? Exactly right. Yeah, Leather always plays a role. So if J-Lo performs Jenny from the block, uh -huh. then there's a chance that, okay, I got you. We didn't even do one. All honesty. What, what, what did we leave on the table? The Redskins are alive sure. still. Sure. Win the division, right? lost to Dallas. Like, they're very alive. We'll get to that next week. That, oh. one, that one I'm in on. I'm in on the Redskins. You I like talked that. about Hell the yes. momentum. They almost have the best. Take it. Please. No one else right. wants it. Uh, sure, how about genius. Jerry saying he's <laughs> sticking? With Jason Garrett. Oh, yeah, he loves him. Even mm -hmm. after last night, though? Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember, what about Bob when he's taped to that ship? That's Jerry on SS Garrett. And we've got a big interview.